One of the key concepts when you're dealing against multiple attackers is you never want to be locked up with one person any more than just a couple of seconds. So one thing we know is that you never want to go to the ground because you're easy stomping ground from there. But the other thing people get into in a close quarters combat is they come in, they get locked up here in a struggle. Either they're wrestling or they're in the clinch position like this. And even though you're fighting this guy and you've got, you've got solid position, you can launch attacks, you're still an open target for any of his buddies that want to come in and start stomping away on you or start punching away at your head. So you don't want to be in this position either. So what I want you to do is show you a technique that will allow you, once you're in here and you're, you're locked up, you know you want to get out of it, uh, you don't want to have the outside of the clinch. So you're going to come up with your hand on the inside of the clinch, and you're going to, you've got a lot of leverage here with your shoulder. So as I come up, I can bring my arm around and lock up his elbow right here. Now when I do this, look at his body position. It opens himself up. When he opens himself up and his head starts to go back, I can reach in and grab his trachea. Now with the trachea, you want to grab right around like the back of the trachea that you're trying to grab there. You can actually put your fingers around it. So when I open him up, I grab the trachea. Now from here, I've got him totally off balance if I want him, and he's not going to be able to launch a very powerful attack. But the other thing it gives me is the opportunity to open myself up and look around and see what I've got as far as targets. Who do I have to deal with now? Are his buddies coming after me? If they are, when I've got his arm and his trachea here, I can move him wherever I want. Now it's easier to move him backwards. So what I want to do is I want to definitely take a look behind myself, because that's usually where people are coming from. And what do I have available to me? Can I throw him over a chair? If I've got him locked in here, I can very easily throw him into another attacker. I can throw him over a chair. I can throw him anywhere that I want and, start, or, and then start fighting somebody else if I have to. So, Open them up, dominate their body, use them as a shield, throw them over a chair and escape, whatever you need to do.